Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I just thought I'd make a little kind of part two tutorial video about the um, diamonds and coal. Mainly because uh, when I did that video, a lot of people gave me a lot of advice about how to make something um, that works a little bit better in a similar vein. So I've made another little room here, um, just past my storage room. And um, as you can see here, I've got basically a wall of tar, a, a, a waterfall sheet of tar. And uh, what I've done is I've just kind of had, just put in a few little decorations and stuff like that. And the basic concept is just a one block deep kind of area like this, going up uh, a number of blocks, and then just one in, and you could put the uh, tar just kind of in here. And it will move one block and then flow down until it hits an obstacle. So it just kind of comes down in a sheet. And the idea is that you can use the bombs on it to turn it. Now, the bombs both have a 7x7 seven seven area of effect. So you do want it to be kind of pushed up into the ceiling a little bit. Otherwise, you'll have the issue of uh, of actually turning the source blocks. And that, that just makes it really awkward because you've got to go up there and kind of replace them. But uh, just here, as you see here, if I just um, kind of aim just around for the middle lower area like this and just go wee... Boom, it turns the whole sheet. And there'll be like, um, I think, the two layers above the visible here will be coal as well. And so there you have it. It's uh, really, really simple, really easy to set up. And once you've got it set up, as you can see, it's really easy just to do. And as soon as I kind of put some extractors on this and take it away, it will start flowing down again. So it's actually, it's really easy to set up. And once you do this, I mean, just testing this, I ended up with... I think about 300 coal just making sure it was all working okay so you end up with a hell of a lot of resources and I wish there was a way of doing it with iron and obsidian especially obsidian but yeah I just thought I'd do a little um kind of part two video just to show you guys um this because it's so much more convenient than uh kind of like laying out in a particular pattern on the ground but yeah there you go guys um I hope you enjoy and I hope this has been useful to you I'll see you next time